Hey, what's going on everybody? Keith here. I just wanted to take this opportunity to share with you two of the basic tools that I use for affiliate marketing. Now, as you get going uh, off and running, you'll find that there might be some other tracking software and other things that you want to utilize to help improve uh, you know, how your campaigns are going. Uh, but that being said, with the two basic tools, you can get started pretty much today, okay? Uh, now understand that there are other tools out there. You do not have to use these. These are just the platforms that I use. Uh, so if you look below this video, the first link is Get Response. Now I'm not going to go in depth step by step on signing up for Get Response. It's pretty self-explanatory. You'll have to validate your email. But once you are in, you will go to your lists. You will create a list and it has to be all lowercase so whatever you want to do I'm gonna do my uh, tester list 2021 uh, so it has to be original one that hasn't been used before okay so that's good to go uh, now this is actually what this platform is this is your subscriber list now on top of that you have a lot of tools within email marketing that's your newsletters uh, you can send one-off emails Auto responders. This is going to be if you want to set up multiple emails pre-made to distribute on day one, day two, day three after individuals subscribe. It's pretty much a hands-free way for you to continue to follow up after somebody subscribes to your list. Uh, great tools. You can see over here they have their own landing pages and click funnels. Uh, you can utilize these if you just want this one platform uh, by all means go for it i found that they weren't as effective and i didn't like the way that they were designed uh, i just personally didn't enjoy working with them so that's why i use click funnels okay uh, so before you head over to click funnels uh, i just want to show you real quick over here integrations and api so ultimately for you to have this platform work with click funnels you're going to need to make sure that you link them, integrate them. So I'm not gonna click this because my APIs will show up, but here you just click API, you'll generate new API, you can name it ClickFunnels, that way you know what it's linking to, and just copy that API, it's as simple as that. Now, when it comes to ClickFunnels, this is where I build my landing page, my thank you page. Um, so once you get signed up, again, I'm not going to go through the sign up process, uh, but once you get signed up into this platform, what you're going to want to do right off the bat is go into account settings, come down to integrations, and add new integration. This is where you're going to paste that API that you copied from your ClickFunnels, and you're going to set it up. So now my get response, as you can see right here, is already loaded and integrated with ClickFunnels. Okay, so that's all set, good to go. Um, you know, if you're looking for ClickFunnels, the link number two below will get you directly to this ClickFunnels and then you can sign up from there. Now, both GetResponse and ClickFunnels do have free signups, um, trial periods. So I highly encourage you to go ahead and at least try it, feel out the platform, see what works for you. Uh, and then if it's just not something that you're into, go ahead and cancel. Just make sure you cancel before, you know, with ClickFunnels, I believe it's 14 days. I think with uh, GetResponse, it is... Uh, 30 days. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, go ahead and check that out. Either way, you get a trial period, get started, see if it works for you. Now, uh, if you look at link three, I have links to actually three and four links to funnels. So I've built a couple funnels, one of which that you signed up under. Uh, this one right here, this is your uh, dib affiliates promoting affiliates. This is likely what you signed up under uh, that it may have been something else uh, but bottom line I'm going to give you this funnel uh, once just make sure you have your click funnel set up first so when you click it'll automatically integrate to it that way you can just be off and running okay so uh, real real quick here they both work the same I'm just going to go through this one there's two links for you to have one that promotes to affiliates one that promotes to customers okay because you're going to want both you're going to want affiliates under you that are promoting to other people because when they sign up, you get paid, but you also want to promote to others yourself because when they sign up, you get paid. Your percentages are higher on yours, but you want to work both angles because ultimately you're you know, be building your own ecosystem where you can grow. Uh, so starting with the thank you page here, I'm going to go ahead and go into edit. I always start with the thank you page because that's just basically working our way backwards in the funnel um, to make sure everything's set up properly. So here's go to the uh, sign up. So you set your action 
and you can see go to website Earl. So they've already been added to your list. This is a thank you page, meaning everything's been done up to this point. So go to the website. This is where you're gonna paste your affiliate link uh, for this uh, particular platform. Now remember this, this particular funnel is for affiliate signing up as affiliates, right? So you wanna make sure you use your affiliate uh, promotion link, not your customer link, okay? So put that in here and then you're gonna click and you're gonna save. Okay, this is the only thing right now that you need to worry about on this page. So now that's automatically gonna go to your affiliate link, right? Now, this one's really important because what you wanna make sure is that your subscribers go to you and not to me or anywhere else, okay? Uh, this one works a little bit differently, but still fairly simple. Now, don't worry about this custom JavaScript. That'll automatically show with the picture that you saw on the main screen. It just doesn't show up until after, okay? Now, this link right here, it's a little bit different. When you set action, make sure it's submit order, submit form. You know, before it was go to website, but what you want to happen here is you're gonna submit the order, that's gonna send uh, with your integrations, that's gonna send your email sign up to your subscriber list. On top of that, it's also going to submit form and take you on to the next page, which is your thank you page, okay? So you don't wanna add links to this one, you just wanna submit order, submit form, and that's it. Now, how do they get to those locations? Well, those are your, your settings. So you got your integrations. You've already integrated your get response. So you're gonna go ahead and click the first tab, click your get response. Second tab, add to campaign. Third tab is gonna be the actual sign up that you want them to go under. Um, so when you built that list, that's gonna be the list that you choose. Once that's connected, just make sure you save. Um, you know, you can save at the end. I like to save as I go to make sure I'm getting these updates in. All right, and now how are we gonna get it to the thank you page? Well, first off, and you could have, let's see here, could have done this beforehand, but uh, go to your thank you page, copy this link right here. This is where you're gonna take them to. This is gonna get you to the thank you page, okay? So now while you're in this platform, you will be able to go up here to settings, general, now this is where you, on submit go to this is going to go to this page and you're going to paste that thank you page link okay so now you've got it set up to where one you're integrated so when they submit form it's going to give you the email address to your subscriber list in get response because they're integrated two it's going to take you to the next step which is the thank you page and then once they're at the thank you page then they'll click and they'll go to your sign up so that is your basic funnel um, ready to go. This is what you saw when you signed up uh, and this is all set. So go ahead and save that and then here is where you want to test. So with your opt-in page, this is the first part of the funnel. This is your link that you want to test out. You just want to go in, paste it and make sure it works. So boom, here we go. This is our landing page. Cool. This is what's being promoted to your customers. They're going to go ahead and sign up. So let's just say a uh, little border at dib one sign.com. Obviously not a real email address. Others are going to use theirs, but submit should turn green. That's letting you know that the integration's working. Uh, it's taking you to your thank you page. So now this is where, now it's not going to go to, I'm going to go ahead and not click it. It's going to go to my actual Dib account because I'm already a customer. So if they don't already have an account, it's going to take them to the sign up form. With you already having an account and me already having an account, it's just going to take you to the account. Um, go ahead and click it on your own so you can see that it goes to your account, uh, but I'll leave it alone for now. Now, when you do that, mine set up to my opt-in. What you'll see is whatever list you set up, uh, there will be one additional subscriber. So you would have started with zero on yours if you're brand new to this. You would have had zero subscribers once you did the tester, plugged in your email, submitted. You wanna make sure your get response shows one subscriber. Now you know that your link works. So at that point, you can take this link, go into the solo ads, and what solo ads is, if you're not tracking, link four below, you dimmy, that's for you to do solo ads. These individuals have massive lifts lists. They make their living um, building up on subscribers and promoting 
uh, other people's products to their to their subscribers. So uh, you can find a seller, you can outline the type of deal that you're doing. So any niche, let's say marketing, um, let's say, you know, these are people that got sales, say I want them to at least have had 50% sales, um, depending on what you're doing, your max price for click. Generally starting out, I recommend you kind of go around the uh, 45 to 60 cent range, just test them out uh, and see how they perform. So once you sign up, you can literally just say I click on AJ here and I just go ahead and paste that link. Make sure you get rid of the space and then now I can submit. So for $180, I'm going to get 300 visitors, guaranteed clicks. They're going to be unique clicks of that. Traditionally, I get anywhere between 20 and 30% opt-in. So you're looking at potential of, you know, 80 to 100 people that will sign up for this uh, through this funnel with the email address. You might have, by the end of your campaign, you may have 80 to 100 subscribers on your list. Now, these are individuals that you can continue to promote to in whatever fashion you want. Um, but right off the bat, if they've signed up for this uh, affiliate program, then you're going to want to follow up with them and show them these key tools so that they can get started. Because ultimately your goal is for them to be successful because ultimately I am successful off your success, right? So you just want to continue to work with each other, build each other up and go from there. Um, so now that's your basic funnel. You know, I didn't go into a whole lot of depth here. I just wanted to make sure you understood the process. You, you know, had the capability to set up your ClickFunnels account your get response, integrate those, and then go ahead and push your first Udemy solo so you can see those subscribers sign up. You're off and running. Now, as you get going, there's other platforms that I use like Build Redirects here. You can see that I can track this just today started, but if I go into my actual links, uh, or sorry, reports here, this platform will allow you to not only track individuals, make you make new links. So I make a link for each person I do a solo with so I can track their success. So you can see some are better than others. I try to go for that 20 to 30%. So like this one here, probably won't use again. This one here probably won't use again. Uh, but this one, Brandon, Sean, and Don Lee. And if I go, I had a really good one with uh, Thomas Freeman. 27% uh, opt-in. So those are the ones that I'm going to want to reuse. That's the value of tracking is that when you track these links, now you can see your conversion rate and you can know who you want to use or even uh, which ads you want to promote. You can do different variations. You can split test uh, and figure out what works best. Now, I'm not going to go into detail on this. I, I encourage you to look it up on your own. There's different tracking softwares. Like I say, I use Build Redirects. I will put the link for Build Redirects below. Uh, I just don't have a training platform for that at this time. But I hope this gives you the basics for you to understand how to go ahead and get started and uh, get off and running. So if you have any questions, again, uh, any email that I send, feel free just to reply. It's going to go directly to me and I'm going to reply as soon as I can, because like I said, your success is my success. Uh, I want to work together. I want all of us to be successful. I want you to promote to others, build your affiliate lists and also your customer basis. So please reach out for anything that you need. And I look forward to working with you on this.